Hey guys, it's a Sniper One here, and today we are on the Settle Carlisle Railway driving the Class 66. Good afternoon driver, today you are performing route learning duties in anticipation of future freight flow. Accompanying you today is Bob, a driver well versed on the Settle Carlisle line and someone who also fancies himself as a bit of, histo of a historian too. So we shall be learning the his a little bit of history of the Settle Carlisle line as we drive it today. So this scenario is the uh, learning the ropes. So let us move up, but not too far because we need to wait for this signal to clear. So yes, I've already attempted recording this once today and unfortunately my ha after 10 minutes of recording my hard drive have filled up. So it killed off the recording and I did not realize at all. So yes, this is sort of a take two for me, so yes, I can't complain, I should have checked how much hard drive space I had left, so you can see in the distance there's a train that we are waiting to proceed across all these lines, which then means we can proceed through this red signal that is ahead of us. So let us, uh, hey, stop rolling backwards, you little beggar. Right, let's wait for our clear signal and then we can proceed. So as you can see, we have got a few tutorial markers that we have got to clear. There's uh, 16 all together, and each one gives us a little bit of information about the line, which is always nice to see. So now that trains through there, we should be clear to proceed shortly. On. You know you want to change, there we go, right, let us go. So we are making our way across all of these points. Right, I shall drop the power down to 38%. Yes, this is a nice easy scenario in the Class 66, which I always enjoy to drive. Basically, just uh, doing a uh, sighting trip for a potential freight route, so it's always good fun. So, we shall just drop our power down. We don't want to be speeding too soon. Just uh, give it a little tickle on the brakes. As our first tutorial marker is coming up. And Bob will divulge a little bit of information to us about the line that we are about to drive. Which is always nice to see. And we've got a nice green signal, so we are clear to proceed. So here is our first tutorial marker. We now exit the curve of the Carlisle Citadel. We descend a small incline towards Petteril Bridge Junction, where the Settle Carlisle line will diverge from the line to Newcastle. The line speed over the junction is 20 miles an hour and we're doing 23 miles an hour. At least this isn't, this isn't a career scenario so we don't lose any points for said speeding so hopefully we won't be doing that too much in the duration of this uh, video. Yeah I know, the, I know we're not going to be losing any points but the whole point of train simulator is that it's a simulator we don't want to be um, doing too much that's uh, frowned upon. <laughs> we definitely want to be sticking to said speed limits. Speed limits are there for a reason, we don't want to be upsetting the uh, line. So we are going to diverge off to the right here, ahead of us you can see some of the old line which um, we shall be told about in this tutorial marker just here. Which is always nice to hear. We'll just apply a bit of brake and let it off. We are now on the famous Settle Carlisle line. To the left you can see the remains of what was originally Carlisle London Road Terminus. Only a small amount of track remains now used as a marshalling yard. In around 200 yards the line speed then increases to 60. So all this here was the original uh, line. 
which has slowly been taken away, I do believe. Which is pretty sad, but hey ho. So anyway, we are making our way through this 60 mile an hour mark and then we can really open the legs on the uh, Class 66. That does sound so wrong. We can let the Class 66 stretch its legs. That's better. <laughs> That doesn't sound as wrong as saying uh, open its legs. So right, here we go. We can now go up to 60 mile an hour. Not that we shall see 60 mile or any 60 mile an hour anytime soon, as we're basically slowly climbing uphill here. So we just need to keep an eye on our speed for now. So we are slowly climbing up to uh, 60 mile an hour always good. See the roofs of the towns. It's a very picturesque line is this. Not a lot to, not a lot to see till we get up onto the top so we shall get a quick screenshot of that. Quick screenshot of that. Beautiful, beautiful. So our next tutorial marker is coming up in the next mile. It'd be interesting to see what this one has got to tell us. I do believe it's about the um, old disused stations. So we are up to 40 mile an hour now. Seems to be gaining speed rather well considering we're going uphill. It's always good to see. So here is our next tutorial marker, we are just about at 50 mile an hour. And as you can see the gradient is starting to get quite steep as we're climbing up. So let's see what this first tutorial marker has, well the third tutorial marker has to tell us about the line. It's what I like about this scenario, you get to hear some nice little bits of snippets of information about the history of the line and what's gone on over the years. So here we are, tutorial marker 3. We are now approaching the site of Scottsby Station which closed in 1942, one of many stations on the route that suffered this way. You just saw the uh, remains of the station building to our right there. As we approach our next tutorial marker. Have a, let's have a good look. Oh, look at that beautiful open fields of the Yorkshire countryside. Bloody marvellous. Can't beat it. Ah, it is nice round these parts. Up, oh, and we are actually speeding. Let's just drop the power off completely. No point in using the brakes. We're not losing any points. So. Are you going to actually slow down any time soon, Mr. Train? Yes, you are. Good on you. We shall go 25% power, so we're not gaining speed. As we approach our next tutorial mark. So let's see what Bob's got to tell us now. Here we pass through another of the aforementioned closed stations. This one is called Witten, closed in 1956. It's nice to see that the platform still remains for that station. We've got another tutorial marker coming up in just over half a mile. Let's see what uh, snippets of glorious information this one has got to tell us. quite interesting. I believe it's about the uh, junction itself. And what was uh, on this junction as well? Oh, we're speeding again. Not doing very well at concentrating on that speed limit, am I? We now approach the sidings of Hoenko, what was once an extensive network of sidings with sharp branches to a brick tile and plaster works. Apparently that lag wagon was left there a few days ago. It would need to be recovered at some point. Now we 
we shall see a wagon on to our right just here in the distance that in a future scenario we shall be going and retrieving I have uh, done this scenario I've done the scenario for collecting that already it's quite a good one it's a pain in the backside like but yeah it's quite a fun one to do I did it live on my uh, stream which a link can be found in my uh, about my channel and the video description as well just uh, follow and hopefully you should see me subs well streaming on my days that I do not put videos out unless I am working <laughs> I do work a strange pattern of um, alter alternating between days and nights, so this is a, my little bit of a hobby between my days off and in the uh, current winter weather. Hopefully when the uh, good weather comes about I'll be trying to spend a bit of time in my garden as well between doing these videos. And streaming and playing on my PS4 as well. <laughs> I went out and bought a PS4 specifically to play Final Fantasy XV and to prepare myself for the uh, release of the Final Fantasy VII Remake as you can see I'm doing a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII, well of Final Fantasy VII on my uh, channel it's been one of my dreams to do ever since I was a kid of about 13 years old so pretend that playthrough has been 10 years in the making pretty much. If, if not even longer. I can remember years ago I had a TV with a, oh, our next tutorial marker interrupting me there. We now approach the crossing and the site of another closed station, Coathill. This station met its fate in 1952. As you can see there's the remains of the uh, station building. So yes, back to what I was saying. Oh, class 66, two suits. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> back to what I was saying years ago when I was still playing on my PS1. The TV that I played on had a built-in video player and recorder. So somewhere in my house there is actually a videotape of me playing Final Fantasy VII. No commentary over it or anything like that because I had no idea how to record commentary. But yeah. I used to record myself playing Final Fantasy VII and then watch it back. However crazy that sounds. <laughs> Trying to do YouTube before it was even invented, yeah. <laughs> so we are making, we are actually on a downhill descent here. I'll just leave a little tickle of power on. So yeah, you should go go and check out my Final Fantasy VII playthrough if you're interested in that might not be of interest to you but it's worth having a quick look fun game has a special place in my heart as my first Final Fantasy that I ever played and it's a series of games that I will not ever stop playing come on train slow down a bit so yeah doing a playthrough of that I might do a playthrough of Final Fantasy 8 and a playthrough of Final Fantasy 9 once I've done 7 so that's a, a plan for the future, we shall say. Quite enjoy making these YouTube videos. I know I'm not getting many views and everything else on them, but I'm really not bothered. This is a little part-time hobby and, yeah, just enjoy recording what I'm playing at the time, really. I'm slowly gaining a bit more confidence on talking over the videos and everything else, but like I believe you only learn by doing, so I just need to keep doing it. <laughs> so our next tutorial mark is coming up in nearly quarter of a mile, so we shall be getting another snippet of information from good old Bob as we make our way across this beautiful line. Oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's such a beautiful view. So yep, here is our next tutorial marker. 
Now rounding the curve we approach the first active station on the Settle Carlisle line, Armathwaite. Although it although now open it wasn't always this way. Closed in 1970, only to reopen in 1986. So this station here reopened three years before I was born. Look at that, isn't it beautiful and preserved? Fantastic. Right, we are actually slowing down a lot more than I anticipated, so let's uh, bring the power back up. We are actually on a little bit of a downhill, so we will gain our speed back rather quickly. As we approach the next tutorial marker for this line. Across a nice little bridge. Now I do believe this next tutorial marker is about tunnels. But we shall see when we reach it. We've got just over a quarter of a mile to go till we get there. We are actually at our speed limit again, so let's just drop it down to not even that 13% power. And here we are at our next tutorial marker. Let's see what Bob's got to tell us. We now head towards the first tunnel on this journey in one of three consecutive tunnels we pass through before emerging into the Cumbrian Valleys. Oh yeah, beautiful. So here is our first tunnel. Let's uh, get some lights on shall we? Can't believe I'm running without any lights on. That was a noob move. So it's only a short little tunnel but... Let's give a little toot in it and deafen anyone that's nearby. <laughs> Let's bring our power up a little bit again as well. So yes, we are slowly making our way along the line. We've got the nice valley with a little river in there. Can't really get a picture of that from here. Let's see if we can get one from out here. No, nope. missed me chance. Too late. Is our next tunnel coming up. So this is our middle tunnel, I do believe, according to the information that Bob gave us just then. So straight through, yeah. Let's see if we can see right through to the other side. Or if we're going round the corner in it. No, nope, we're off round the corner, so we can't see the other side. Well, oh, it's only a short tunnel. Is this into the next one straight away, pretty much? There's that graphical glitch again. I noticed that on the first time I played it. Yeah, well, not too bothered. It doesn't really take away from the experience. So. Here we are heading out. And there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, yes, we are just over halfway through this uh, scenario now. Our next tutorial mark is another two and a half miles up the line yet. So yes, this line is a fantastic route. It's so beautiful once we break out into the valleys again. It's a shame we're dug deep, well not deep down into the ground, but in, a, in the middle of a little valley. I would believe this would be a man-made valley, especially for the line, to try and keep it as flat as possible. Oh look, we've broken, we've broken out again into the uh, valleys. Let's see if we can get a good look at the river. No, too many trees in the way. Shouldn't really complain. Trees are good things. They feed us oxygen. <laughs> Let's see if we can see. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's get a quick screenshot. All these. I don't know why I tried clicking on that then, that would have been unfortunate. Um, yeah, all these uh, get uploaded to my Steam profile, so... If you guys want that, just leave a uh, comment down below and I shall uh, send you my... I shall uh, reveal my name in the next video. So our next tutorial marker is just a mile away. Let's see what little bit of information Bob has got to give us again. Oh, there's that river. There we go. Nice quick screenshot again. 
And we are speeding. Speeding, speeding, not for long. There we go. You forget how good the brakes are on this class 66. Yeah, pretty, pretty fantastic. Just close off the power completely as soon as we are going downhill. We'll just let gravity do its thing. So, our next tutorial marker is just um, under half a mile away, nearly a quarter of a mile away. We are slowly gaining speed still. But let's see what a uh, glorious snippet of information Bob's got for us this time again. So, here we go. Come on, Bob, divulge some history to us. We now approach the next active station on the route, Lazenby and Kirkswell, like Armstrong. This station originally closed in 1970s before being rescued in the mid 80s. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So then through another short tunnel. And our next tutorial marker is another two and a half miles away. Which again shouldn't take too long and after that we've only got another six markers to go which is a real shame but fortunately we've got unfortunately I mean fortunately we have got another two um, scenarios to do after this about um, learning this route so and hopefully Bob will be along with us for the ride to uh, keep us entertained with these fantastic snippets of information as you can see, fantastic open valleys, beautiful, just beautiful. I do love a nice picturesque line. It is a pretty quiet line though, we've only seen one other train. Hopefully we might see another one before, a couple more before the end of the scenario, hopefully. So a mile and a half left to our next marker. Hopefully I'll be able to get over and visit this line one day. It's not too far away from what I can gather. Should have really done a little bit of research on the internet about it before I started uh, this video. There's a nice river crossing there. Let's see what other position we can sit in here. Oh yeah, we can sit in the uh, other driver's line. So that must be to do with the horn. A couple of cup holders. There's a fair bit of detail in this carriage, it's not as high as the other class 66 that there is that I've got. We shall hop across back to the uh, driver's seat. There's our reverser and the power. What buttons have we got down here? Nothing we can press. Can't press the emergency stop. Oh, it's our cab light, which seems to light for an imaginary place. Oh look, another class 66. Hello. And he's just as long a freight train as us. And here's our next tutorial marker as well. Come on then, Bob. Entertainers, tell us, tell us what information you've got about the line here. Another closed station now coming up, this time Little Salkhead. From this point onwards the line starts to get noticeably steeper for heavy freight traffic and will now be near enough to climb all the way to Askill. A skill even. So yes, another closed station we just passed through there. Um, just give us 50% power. So it says that it's pretty much a climb all the way just as we uh, climb up this little bit of a hill it starts going downhill again. But, uh, well, near threat. Let's hop it up to 63%. And we've got our 11th tutorial mark coming up in less than a mile as well. So we've got a nice little village over there. That's probably served by the train hopefully. You should think so anyway. So we'll just drop her back to 25% power. Let's 
so here we go for our next tutorial mark and let's see what good old Bob's got to tell us this time I would imagine it's information about this station here looks like another close one to me Hope we're speeding as well we now approach Langwathby, a small station situation on the edge of Burdage bearing the same name. Like all but two of the stations currently along this line, this station was closed in subs... subs... by yeah, struggling with words today, subs... subs... Oh, I can't even say it. I'm going to skip that word. And subsequently reopened, subsequently. Bye, yeah. Struggling with words today, not good. <laughs> probably because I'm recording this video earlier than what I do normally record videos. So we are actually on a slight uh, descent here, so I shall just leave the engine at this power. I'll let gravity do what it's designed to do. Do excuse me. But our next tutorial marker is still one and a half miles away. We've only got one, two, three, four, five more to go and then we are done. Unfortunately there's another two scenarios with good old Bob along, hopefully, to uh, divulge us nice bits of information. So we're starting to lose a little bit too much speed, so we shall open it up again. We shall slow it down on the throttle. Ah, we're making good, good time. Not that we need to be there at any time, but we are making good time, I would say. So, we're doing well. We haven't spent too much, I believe, so... Hopefully not. So yes, we are doing well on this, it's a nice scenario, is this nice, nice picturesque views such as that? Let's have a quick screenie before we get to this next tutorial map. So yeah, we are doing well for time and everything else. So, we're doing well. Here's our next tutorial marker, come on then Bob. We now head into another double set of tunnels, the second of which is called Gate at 661 yards. It's the third longest tunnel on the route after Blair Moor and Rise Hill. I believe that's another graphical glitch there, <laughs> wow. Wow, that is uh, interesting to see a bit of wall right in the middle of the line. Hopefully there's no more like these. So this is the third longest tunnel on the line at 661 yards. It is pretty dark. Dark, dank tunnel. So we're doing well. We've got our next tutorial marker just ahead as well. Bye, they're coming in thick and fast out at the minute. On leaving the tunnel we will shortly pass the site of another closed station, Cool Gate. I believe this is it to our left here. Yep, another closed station with its signal box. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! That noise. <laughs> wow, that made me jump. Completely forgot about that noise in these packs. So our last couple of tutorial markers are pretty close to one another, so that means the uh, scenario is nearly over for us, unfortunately. But fortunately we've got another two coming up, which hopefully I should be recording today, if all goes to plan. So nice big uh, viaducts there. Oh, I don't believe that's a viaduct, it'll just be a bridge. We uh, climb uphill once again. It's 
so here's our next tutorial marker for Bob to uh, give us some more uh, information on what's going on here we go we are now about to pass the final closed station that we will see on our journey. This was the location of New Begin, serving a small village just northeast of here. So I believe we just passed through the station there. And here's our next tutorial marker where and we need to stop at this next swap, as we shall find out here. We are approaching the Kirby Thorn Gypsum Works, a location which is served by daily trains to and from Drax Power Station. The signal ahead is at danger and there is a failed service ahead. Please prepare to stop at signal KT4 while observing a slow approach to the signal over the TPWS equipment. So basically we need to come, a, come to a stop before this signal here. So I shall apply a little bit of a brake pressure. Yep, we are aware of the signal. That's a warning for this uh, yellow signal here, which is basically saying, your next signal's red, come to a stop. All right, let's release this pressure. So you could see how quickly we were slowing down there. So once we get to about 0.4 of a, well, 0.35, I'm gonna call it, we shall uh, start applying some brake again, so. Let's do this. We shall get another warning. Yes, we are fully aware of the 30 mile an hour speed limit and the uh, red signal that is ahead of us. Need a little bit more brake pressure in, please. Right, we shall drop some. Because otherwise we shall come to a stop well before we need to. So we shall just slowly cruise on in to our final marker where we need to stop due to the broken down train that is ahead of us. Now I believe we shall get another warning here for the red signal. Yep, right, yes we are fully aware of that, thank you very much Lee. So slowly bringing our speed down for us to come to a complete and but a halt. So once my train gets into the orange, we shall get some breakage on. There we go. And we have now stopped. So that is the end of the scenario. Hopefully Bob shall have a little bit more information for us for what awaits us in the next scenario. So let's see what he's got to say to us. We shall put full breakage on, full emergency brakes, just so we know that we've stopped. Thank you driver, due to the failed train ahead we cannot continue any further until it has been cleared. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of background history to the route today. And hopefully that should continue on into the next video. So as always guys, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on whether you uh, thought it was good or whether you thought this video was shite. And hopefully we shall see you for the next video. So thank you very much for tuning in and we shall see you next time.